Today I'm back with the practical question 9 on Microsoft Word processing and so this is the, the second version of mail merge in the last tutorial we looked at mail merge mail merge in the quickest way and so today we are looking at mail merge in another way but all of them will bring us to the same answer so this question says miss livia is a house teacher in Chesley High School, her school will be holding its inter-house MDD competition soon. Being a day school, Miss Livia needs to put in extra time to perfect most of the activities. She intends to send special letters requesting parents to release their children on a non-schooling day for practice. The contents of the letter will be the same for all parents except for the parents' personal details and titles. Below, are the let Below is the letter to be sent and a table showing personal details of different parents. So this is the letter that Miss Livia has designed to send to parents so that is the letter and then the parents details are here within this table and so this means that we are supposed to answer the following questions that type the letter and save it as permit letter and your name so this means that they want us to type the letter this is the letter they want us to type from Chesley High School downwards up to there. They want us to type that letter. After typing that letter, we are going to save it as permit letter, then your name. So after typing the letter, we are going to save it on the desktop. Maybe let's minimize and first create a folder. This folder will be called Kakul Bernard. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lessons. So after creating a folder, we can save this file in our folder on the desktop in Kakurubenu's folder so here we can call it permit letter hyphen Bernard that's the name of the letter next on the question that create the table and save it as permit table your name we are going to type this table and then we also save it as permit table then name so after typing your table you save it also on, that in, on the desktop in your folder as permit table hyphen Bernard. so we already have a data there so this we are saving our table and so this means that we have two files a table and a data so C Question C is telling us to include a header of your name and index number on the letter. That we include the header as our name and index number on the letter. So this is our permit letter. We go to insert 
head and then if I choose this and we type Kakul Bernard 067 that is the personal number cross header footer or double click in your work then after putting a header insert current data and time in the lower bottom center of your data and update it automatically meaning that here we are going to put data and time in the lower bottom that is in the footer so we can now go to insert down arrow footer we choose edit footer so from here come to date and time date and time date and time so the question is asking us to put date and time in the lower bottom center so do that update automatically click ok highlight it and put it center control e or go to home tab and send cross header footer so we have the header up we have the footer down next on our instruction is to insert a three lines three point page border on your document or on your letter so this means that we shall go to page layout page borders page borders we need three lines these are the three lines under style then with this 3pt apply to our document click ok so that is the border of three lines 3pt save changes next using appropriate word processing feature link the table to the letter so as to generate five letters to be sent to the respective parents of the participants in Miss Rivia's house and ensure that all match fields inserted should be boarded. So this means that now we are going to do mail match. Mail match will be shooting in these fields here. And so straight away we go to the mailing tab. From here, come and say select recipients, use existing list. The existing list is that list that is in our folder. In our folder on the desktop, our folder is Kakur Bernard, and so the list is in permitted table. So, select recipients, existing list. We are now going to look for our list. Our list is, in, is on the desktop, then in a folder called Kakur Bernard, double click, and then double click on Permit table. So that is the list. And now we are going to insert our merge fields. You can see these ones are now active. So we are going to highlight this student name. We come to insert merge field. You choose student name. You can bold it. Then highlight student parents name. You come to insert merge fields parents name. You can press enter. Highlight phone number. Come here and choose phone number and press enter bit highlight title go to insert merge fields title you can also bold it come and highlight gender come to insert merge fields choose gender you can bold it Select category. You come to merge fields and choose category. Highlight it and bold it. 
save changes. Next step is to preview results. So when you preview results, these match fields will be filled with their respective information. Preview results, guardian of coach Kate, Mr. Okech Moses, telephone number, dear sir, release of your daughter as a dancer. So you can view other recipients by clicking there. Information is there. You can see how it is changing. There are six recipients. This one takes you back like that. So you can appreciate mail merge now. Save changes. So next on our instruction is to insert a printed watermark of your registration number in the entire document meaning that we apply a watermark to the entire document. Go to page layout, watermark, custom watermark. So from custom watermark, we are going to edit text watermark and we put there our names, Kakuru Bernard, you click OK. So what you see behind is a watermark. Next on our instruction is to make the reference appear in blue color, font size 14, black, area black style. So we are going to make the reference, this is the reference, let's make it appear in blue color. And then we make it area black. So type area black, enter. That is our area black. And then font size 14, it is 14. Then the rest of the text is font size 14 in black times new Roman. So the rest information here is times new Roman size 14 the rest of the information is times new roman size 14 save changes next change the in spacing of the entire text to 1.5 so we are going to change the in spacing you highlight, you come to paragraph, then line spacing, choose 1.5, like that. Save changes. Next, insert a horizontal line below the letter. Insert a horizontal line below the letter. So meaning that here, below the letter, we should insert a horizontal line below the letter. And so we are supposed to insert a horizontal line below our letter. So we go to insert shapes, then lines, put that line. So save changes, save changes to your work. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos, thank you.